without women participation there there is no hope for the gender equality in the society and equitable society that's why women's participation in decision making level is needed Shashi's work is vital because she's now addressing the, the current serious imbalance of representation of women in the judicial sector. Currently, less than 10% of women are represented in the judicial sector. It's very important to increase the number of women in the sector, to improve the understanding of women's rights, and then also to promote peace, rule of law, and women's rights. Uh, in this regard, we are organizing gender sensitization program for implementing agencies such as judiciary and quasi-judiciary bodies. We have also organized interaction program with representative of the political parties to ensure women's participation in the forthcoming constituent assembly. Shishi is the very much familiar personality as a professor and social activist also. She is involved in this LAC institution. I think uh, through this institution she has done, made so much contribution for sustainable peace uh, through enabling female access to justice and social justice. This is LAC, is the Legal Aid and Consultancy Center, LAC. The main objective is to provide free legal aid service and ensure access to justice for women and marginalized groups and conflict affected women. Sasi is doing excellent job in the field of legal uh, aid to the four women and a girl. And besides that, she is working excellent in the field of peacemaking process of Nepal. We are also conducting the gender sensitization program. So we have lobbied to the government for the amendment of discriminatory laws and enactment of gender-friendly policies and laws. <laughs> My dream in future in Nepal is the, to maintain gender equality and equitable gender justice in society. If uh, the government or judiciary will ensure their protection and promotion of basic human rights for women, and reduce gender-based violence. At that time, I will be very happy. <laughs>